So now that I'm happy with my student details heading, I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger. I'm also going to push this up just so it just shows that a little bit. And then I'm going to work in this area here. Now, a trick that happens a lot is that the selection part, so if I draw a box around something, it will only be selected. Um, there's different ways of selection selecting things. First of all I'm going to do is I don't like uh, the fact that it's linked that table in the form and you can show it, you can display it if you want to but I'm just going to highlight it and press delete and remove that and then I'm going to work with these details and I'm going to actually work in groupings of these. So um, if I highlight all of these the first thing I must do and this is where a lot of students come unstuck is that they uh, try to do some changes to this and, and we're going to do a lot of changes to this and they can't do any changes because they forget one thing which is you must remove the layout before you start so I've just clicked that now and now I can do some changes to all of them individually so if I want to keep for example student ID then what I would do is I would probably make it smaller so I'd leave it like that and I'd remove the underscores in the label these are labels and these are text boxes. You've got to remember that because if you create a label and you want data in it, uh, sorry, no data in it, and you forget that you've created that, the problem happens is that you will get an error and the error will be that you've created a text box instead of a label. These are all labels and we need to make sure that we, if we're going to add a, any data, if we want to put, say, a heading over here, which I don't, but if I was to do that, I wouldn't choose um, this one, which immediately people go, I'll, I'll demonstrate it. So immediately people go, all right, there's my, uh, what's this unbound? No, I don't want it to be called unbound. Let's say I want it to be the heading of student details. Now, if I then go and look at my form, that then comes up with this and it's really bizarre and so people try to work out what's going on and I say well you've actually haven't done a label what you've done is you've actually done a text box which is that one you're supposed to do these ones so I hope that sort of helps a few people out so moving back to this one we don't need these ones to be so massive so what we're going to do is we're going to select all of them and I'm just going to make them about that big then what we need to do is group them all together based on what they are. So obviously we want to do first name and last name there. Don't worry too much about whether they're in line, but make sure that they're just sort of grouped together. Date of birth is fine. It may want to be put on its own. Uh, and then we might say, all right, hair color is going to go with eye color. And I just saw a grouping there that I might want to do, which is I might change height and put it up here with date of birth. And they're sort of like the groupings that we want to do. And what we can do then is sort of try to keep that all in the middle a little bit. I'm not after perfection at the moment. I'm just sort of changing it to make it sort of look like that. Now that I've got this sizing, I can sort of pull that in a little bit. Or I might even grab the whole lot. Oops. Grab the whole lot. And move it all over so that I've you know I've got it a little bit over here and then I've got you know pretty much even spacing along here and if I scroll down here I can now grab hold of this and push it up and we now have uh, a form that looks like this I'm going to give it a bit more space you also notice that these are a little bit um, not the right sort of in line so I'm going to teach you how to do that so if I highlight these ones and don't highlight these ones I can go to a range and choose a line and I might choose a line left and you'll notice that they all line up and then I might do the same to these ones so I might go a line left all right, and uh, then what I might do is start working out all right these guys need the same distance apart so I can go size and space I'm going to say increase vertical or make it equal vertical and then I've got that and then with those other tools that I showed you I can align these ones to the bottom so that lines up with that and then I, if 
if I align this one to the bottom, I can align that, and then I can align this one to the bottom as well. I can do a number of other things, but that's pretty much, I'm happy with that. If I have a look at that, I can see that my it's now starting to look quite good. Just ignore this space, we'll fix that up later, and just ignore all this stuff, we're gonna fix that up later. But in the grand scheme of thing, we've got, we've got what this looks like. And the last thing I wanna do is just add a bit more form footer because that's where I'm going to be working next. I'll right click on that and choose that color that I've got. So I'm, I'm consistently making it a simple design as well. So I'm gonna stop this video and the next one will be how to actually create the buttons.